I guess it is my turn. Hmm. I guess I gotta own up to this. So I will do what I must. You won't die. Hmm. Funny how these things work. <sighs> Hello! Time to talk about me today. I'm on the chopping block. Yes, your good old pal. That guy, Trey. Um, today I want to talk about two things. We'll, 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 we'll put this in the one video and then we'll fit the, the next one in. First, we'll start with this. <sighs> Why did I give up watching sports? Because honestly, <sighs> you know, you hear about parasocial relationships. I talk about them all the time and how dangerous they can be. And I'm a part of that problem. Honestly, I am. I get too deep into sports, honestly. And I'm going to tell y'all some stuff that's kind of embarrassing. And uh, it, uh, I actually haven't talked about it, but it's just a truth that I've had to really come to. And uh, here we go. LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Allen Iverson, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, Hakeem. Okay, let's talk about all these men. <clears throat> I got a real problem um, when it comes to feeling like when somebody in this... Man, this is going to sound so stupid. That's why I have to call myself out. I talk about LeBron James and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like anytime anybody talks down about LeBron James, for some reason, I take it personal. I know, foolish, ridiculously, stupid at the end of the day. Um, and so I've actually had to try to push myself out of that because I know I get, I, I can't help myself. I get so bothered. I don't know why. It's because I've been watching basketball for so long. I played it. I've watched it. Um, I have obviously played 2K. I play basketball with my friends all the time. I, I've been watching sports I mean, analyst shows since First Take was a show. I don't remember when First Take first came out, but I've been watching First Take since the day it came out, right? And before then, I was just watching regular old ESPN. I didn't watch Cold Pizza, but I watched ESPN. And then when First Take came out, I started watching that. And I've been so invested in First Take and Undisputed and First Things First and all these new shows that have come along, Colin, Colin Cowherd, The Carlton Show, or the, no, The Carton Show, um, 
and some shows have come and gone. You know, NBA, TNT, um, Monday Night Football, the post shows, the before shows. I used to watch NFL. I used to watch it like an hour before it even came on. You know how they have the whole pregame and all that? I watched all of that every Sunday. I used to watch that with friends. Um, I was just deep in the football and really deep in the basketball. Football was my first love. Basketball came next. And then I found myself here this year, in these last two years, actually. I can't even enjoy it. I get so personalized. I get so upset when people talk about my team, when they talk about a player that I like, or they say this player is better than this player. I get so upset, even though I know nobody cares about my opinion on that because I'm not an analyst. I'm not a basketball YouTuber. I'm not up there in status where my opinion even matters. If I put something on Twitter right now about sports, then go check out my Twitter right now. What can I change? I put something out. Nobody cares. Nobody's going to comment. Nobody's going to say anything. My opinion is poof into the wind. But for some reason, I take it so personal because I start to make those dudes' lives, the people who are on TV, who do analysts, and they've been doing it for years and they're experts at it, I feel like I'm a part of that. I feel like I start, I feel like I'm one of the NBA Twitter people. I'm one of those people, NFL Twitter people. I feel like I'm one of them. Even the WNBA, I watch that too. And uh, I get so deep into it, I feel like I'm one of them. And it's not. I'm not. I'm absolutely not one of them. And I've gotten so caught up to where I think that their success is my success. I understand that some of these do it for the fans, but I think if the Lakers win a championship, it's my success. If the San Antonio Spurs win a championship, it's my success. If the Warriors win, oh, I, I like Steph Curry. It's my success. No. And you know what? I know this is going to sound even more ridiculous. Um, but I found myself being even lazier because I watched these dudes give their give everything. I'm talking about the superstars. These dudes give their everything. They wake up. They get ready. They go, you know, get massages. They go, they go do their therapy. They go train. They go work on their skills, technique, every detail so they can last as long as possible and be great as possible to one day probably get that championship or that MVP. And I think that I am doing the same thing. I'm not. I'm just sitting on my couch eating Cheetos. I don't eat Cheetos now. Uh, I'm sitting on my couch eating potato chips, getting fatter by the day. You know what I mean? I found that the time that I lost the most weight was when I didn't invest myself so deep into other people's success, right? I was I was fueling through my own success. And when I watch sports, for some odd reason, I feel like when a team loses or a team wins, it's all on me. And this is going to sound even stupider. But I'm the one who's on the hot seat today. I also think that my actions... This is going to sound dumb, man. Ooh, it sounds sound dumb. I feel like my own actions in real life affect the basketball players. Like if I, this is something that Skip Bayless talks about, this whole superstition. I started becoming, I never believed in superstition. But here lately, in the last two or three years, I have. I think that if I don't, if I, if I turn on a game and the team is winning, I can't watch any more of the game because it'd be like, I'm going to be the reason they lose is because I was watching. Because I like this team, they're going to lose now. I think I'm the reason that, um, Certain teams win championships. It's because of me. I know. You're thinking to yourself, why you're an idiot? <laughs> I agree. I don't know why I have fallen into this superstition. I've gotten too invested into sports. And be especially because I guess when I was at the worst of my life, um, I watched sports to make me happy, right? When I went through the breakup with my fiance, um, I went I, I watched sports. Uh, when I broke up with another girlfriend, I went to sports. When I was homeless, I went to sports. You know what I mean? When when I was trying to figure my way out through college and I was so depressed, I went to sports. I went to live games. I was so deep into the games, guys. I almost got kicked out of games because I was just that invested. It was like, it was escapism, like how people go through video games. Unfortunately for me, I couldn't balance my mind, right? I just fell apart anytime I'd watch any of these guys play. And, uh... So I have to make the decision. This is my last year. Football, no more. Basketball, no more. And I'm not saying forever. Maybe I come back in 10 years. But I'm going to focus on my health. I'm going to focus on my mental. Um, I'm going to focus on my life. I want to live life outside of these 
sports that I'm not really a part of. I'm just a fan. I'm a nobody in the sports world. Nobody cares about my opinion, and I've got to learn that. I don't know, because, like I said, for some reason, when I watch people on TV, because I've been watching them since the very beginning of their careers, some some of them, not all of them, I think that I'm a part of that success, and I'm not. I feel like when they're right, I'm right. I'm not! I'm just a regular dude. Those guys get paid millions of dollars, if not, some of them pay, get paid millions, some of them get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars to get to give their opinion. That's how much it matters because their opinion makes that company money. People want to hear them. People want to get pissed off at them. People want to get happy about them. People want to go get on Twitter and talk about them because their opinions matter. As much as you, as much as you may not care or not, they make money off their words. Just like certain YouTubers. When they say something, it means a lot more because it's coming from them because they've been invested into the community. I haven't. I've been invested into the NBA community, NFL community, but from the outside, I never talked about it. I don't make videos on that. And so I don't feel like there's nothing positive for me to gain anymore. Um, I have enjoyed sports for a long time since I was a young man, at least since I was five. Um, and I think it's time for me to walk away. I think it's time for me to go make my own successes. You know, focusing. I've been working out a lot more lately. And I've been and I've been making this transition for a little bit. I don't know if I had brought it up before, but I've been making this transition since last year to slowly work my way out of sports. Um, and I have. And I'm now done with it. Um, now, when I watch sports, like in reality, like would I go to an NBA game or something? No. When I watch um, y'all guys know I work with children. When I watch one of their games that they ask me. Yes, because that's supporting. That's completely different. I, I, I don't, you know I mean, that's just that's supporting somebody who wants to live out their dreams or their happiness in sports. That's completely different than watching people who get paid millions of dollars to do what they do and think that I get paid millions and I don't get paid anything. I'm so tired of defending certain players when I mean, it doesn't matter what I have to say. <laughs> it just flatly doesn't. And like I said, it's been affecting my life and I'm sad to even have to say that, but it, this is the pure honesty is it, it just it was to the point guys where even when I would oh man oh man it was to the point guys this is embarrassing it just really is it was to the point where when I would when a certain team would lose or a certain team would win I would get so down I remember one time I was live streaming and my team lost I was so distraught I think I just ended my live stream I couldn't even record. I was so mad. And I was so upset. Like, it hurt my feelings. And I was like, what's wrong with me? That's when I started really making this transition. I was like, why is this bothering me so much? It's affecting my sleep. And so I was like, this is not healthy anymore. You know, and I know some people can do better than me. They're, like I said, the people who do it every day, day. In. And I think another reason why it's so hard for me is because I don't get to talk about other teams. I don't get to talk about other players. Because, like I said, my opinion doesn't matter. So I don't think about other players and I don't care if they succeed or not. These people who are analysts and experts, even though everybody has a bias, they all do. They still have, they still move on and be like, well, uh, my favorite player didn't make it. Oh, well, next. Uh, let's talk about this sport that I, you know, let's talk about baseball. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. You got to move on. You're getting paid millions of dollars or not hundreds of thousands of dollars to talk about other stuff. So you're good at what you do. Not me. I get upset my team loses. I feel like I can't go on about the day. There's no way I can step on live TV. Live TV. So, <sighs> as much as I'm going to miss it, and I've been watching, man, every day, I think I've watched every day. I can tell you, at least for the last 10 years, I don't think I've missed a day of watching sports analysis. And that's not a lot to some people, but I'm not, you know, that's just right before I went to college like a little bit out of high school i've been watching sports every day on youtube every day i don't care who it is i watch all the youtubers pretty much all the big sports youtubers i watch all the mainstream media i watch them all all the podcasts anything you can think of when it came to sports i watched them and i think i'm just done i, I look at me look how fat i am okay i'm out of shape i'm over here wasting my time every single day watching these youtubers Watching his mainstream media ain't doing nothing with my life. Getting upset over a basketball game. It's ridiculous. And it's sad and it's pathetic. And today, 
I had to put myself on the hot seat because it was a, it was it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. It was pathetic. I gotta do stuff in my life. I gotta get out of that that hole, that um, that echo chamber. I wouldn't say echo chamber, but maybe so because I only really you know listen to what I wanted to listen to. I would force myself to listen to other stuff, but I really just waited to listen to what I wanted to. And it's time to walk away. Hopefully, this will do some better changes in my life. Uh, I can invest my time into other things. Like I said, working out more. I've been really enjoying working out. It's really hard. <laughs> so actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that video next. But anyway, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs>